Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this uh, webinar of today. And once again, with a big thank you to ITAM, to Engineer ITAM to present this uh, third part of the pumps. And also a big thank to ASEM for the translation. Um, I don't want to take the time and I give straight away the word to ITAM. Thank you again. The word is to you, ITAM. Good afternoon. We have talked earlier about first session and second session about the bump, and now we are going to provide simple information about the bump so everyone can be on the same page with us. We are going to talk about bump sizing, how to choose a bump, what are the criteria, and we are going to explain that on the Ground Force website. My name is Haitham Bakkor. I am WASH coordinator with ACU. The first question we have asked is what is the purpose of BOMB? The purpose of BOMB using pumps is to transfer the water from a low pressure area to a high pressure area. And now we have a second question. What is the purpose of BOMB sizing? We can choose the BOMB based on the size, but it can be suitable or non-suitable. How can I choose the suitable size for me? As much as I can choose a suitable bomb, I can have a best efficiency out of the bomb. And this can affect the next following point. When I choose the bomb efficiently, I can have less losses, less maintenance. The third point is, I can have longer pump life. As you know, the bomb can be uh, available for 25, 30 years, the lifespan of it. If, as you can know, a bus in Syria, we had pumps in irrigation areas and wells. It was working for 20, even 30 years within the well without even maintenance. So as you know, within the well, the, uh, the maintenance procedures are really hard to extract it and to make maintenance to the bomb. So when I choose the bomb with uh, less efficiency, less criteria, so this bomb wouldn't last over 10 years, then lower bomb or shorter pump life. And when I have better bomb, good size, I have more water, low and I have less operational cost. So with, with the good choice, I have less maintenance, less losses, more water, longer pump life and less operational cost. I wanted to explain this uh, as basic so uh, to, to make sure that you are uh, know that you know the, the, why we need to choose the perfect pump. As we have explained, the sequence of power transmission for electric bombs had lots of um, modules. So with this module, uh, this module is uh, eating from it, its own. It's, so now we are talking about the total efficiency for electrical bombs. And we are going to talk about those concepts later, uh, we have talked about them earlier and we are going to talk about them later. And to choose the best bump for us, we need to study the bump performance curve. The first phase is the bump performance curve and the other one is the system curve. We are going to explain slightly about those curves, and then we are going to move to the uh, Ground Force website. Now let's talk about those curves, and those are about curves provided by the um, manufacturing company. It is about the curves of efficiency, about flow, water flow, and about the pressure rate. The more flow rate is the less pressure the pump is providing. While the other curve here, the upper one, it is the performance, the 
specified performance curve of the pump. And the other one is the total performance one. Down there, we can see B1 in blue, which is the capacity of the engine or the pump. And the other one is the in watt, and this is the MPH watt for the bomb. The manufacturing factory is providing us with those charts, while on the other hand, we have the system curve. The system curve is related and engaged with the accessories and the system installed in the real life. We have this tank and we have those lines for bombing the water. We have valves, we have gates, we have other accessories, we have lots of accessories here. So to choose the bomb, the perfect bomb, we need to know the components of our system. Or at least we need to calculate until the working point we want, we need so we can calculate the losses and we can have the value of the compressor we need. We need to identify the working point, which is the flow rate. Um, and I need to have the value of our start point, which is the flow rate and compression. In red, we can find the system curve. It is the curve of the relation between water flow, flow rate. This is the flow rate within the system and the value of the compressor, the needed compressor. There is the curve in red and the blue one is the bump curve. The meeting point here, the cross point is the uh, working point we are after. And as we have explained earlier, for the system curve, it is composed of three components, the H static, then the H losses, and the, uh, lo the other losses in the system. And we are combining them to see what pressure we have in the system and losses. We have talked earlier about finding the duty point example, the other example we are going to explain now uh, quickly is about finding a suitable bomb for the following data. Uh, we need a 116 MH2O and the static is 100 meter while the flow rate is 30 cubic meter. Traditionally, when we are looking for a bomb, we can see those charts, we go there, we look at the values of the flow rate on the curve. We have 30, we go up and we can go to the compressor rate and then we have the duty point needed for the bomb. And we can see here how many beams we need and to work the best on the website we need to have this this information so we can work better on the website and how to find and uh, search for our best sizing bomb so if i want to have the best bombing size uh, from the website i need to have this background from those curves, we can see the value of the efficiency and the value of the MPHF. And here the value, the what? And now we are going to go to the Grand Foss website. This chart currently is from the catalog of Grand Foss. If I would like to do the manual search, I need to go through the pressure, find the flow rate, we need first the flow rate, and we go vertically, 
and then we have the compressor horizontally, and then we can have the crossing point, and it is really not uh, efficient, not really practical. So let's go to the website and find the easy way for it. Uh, item, before going to the website, I have a question. If you yes. have all the information, you have the elevation, the all the information, and you have uh, equivalent pump, ground force or international pump and a Turkish pump, what do you what would you take, a Turkish pump or you would go for an um, international pump from abroad? If you have the equivalent pump. Generator? هلا نحن نحن بشكل أسا... بشكل اساسي آه في عندنا مجموعه مضخات حول العالم اكيد في صناعه صينيه ومستويات We have lots of bombs manufacturer around the world we have chinese we have turkish we have ground force when i have the option for uh, quality so i go to ground force because i'm within with the time i can have a better life span and better quality because if I had less quality from other company, it is going to make up for the difference in value between them both. I know Grand Foss is couple, uh, double or triple price of the Turkish bombs, while the lifespan is um, more for the Grand Foss. Grand Foss is the best all around the world. Through our experiences in Syria, Ground force bombs were living for a really long time. If I brought Banta from Turkey, it can live half the lifespan of ground force. While if I brought second rate Turkish bomb or lower quality, it can be living for one or two years only. What, the maintenance rate is really high and the extraction is really high and expensive. That's why we go to the best. I hope I answered your question. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, so that's why also you are now explaining the Grand Force web page. Thank you very much, uh, Item. For sure, now you can see the uh, website. This is the website of Grundfos. This is the basic website, official. They have updated their and upgraded their website uh, a month ago, but unfortunately, it is still the website is facing some bugs and lots of uh, issues are under upgrading. So there is a more burden on the shoulders of the person who wants to choose best or better uh, bomb. Two months ago, it was easier and it was providing general uh, and more detailed information. I am not speaking on behalf of Grandfoss and I am not trying to market it, to market for Grandfoss, but I'm talking about my from my own general information. So you can have better information and it is not a reference from Grandfoss. I'm talking from my experience. They have their own explanation on their uh, website and they have their own tutorial, but I'm going to explain and provide you with details from my own experience. If you are interested, you can go to the website and have more in detail information. Let's go create an account. We go here, sign in. We have two options, create an account or sign in. To create an account, to create an account, a new account, I click on it. As you can see explained here, it is a free of charge account to open all online services. We put first name, last name, email. We put our password. We put the region we are working in, why it's needed to put the region we are working in, why from Turkey, Syria, Egypt. 
because it's providing us with specified specification and setting, and they connect your information with the regional um, delegate of a ground force there. So we need to choose the country, then I put the company name, and I register. After register, they sent me a message that I need to go to my email account to activate my account. It is so easy. There is a link. I should click on it. It is to activate your account. So activate and verify your account. It's based on my email and account. If I want to put some information, so it would be practical example, email. I'm going to use my daughter's account because I'm using her laptop now. I had a problem with my laptop, sorry for this. I choose the uh, country. If I chose Turkey, it's going to be in Turkish. And this is a problem that I want to choose a, an area or country to choose a good language for me. If I chose Turkey, it's going to, to be in Turkish. Then I would do register. I would go to my email and I would verify. Let's go back to sign in. As I said, it is sign in and I have create an account or sign in. When I have an account, I can sign in. Now I can use all the uh, services without even have an account. But if I had, if I created an account, I can save my data. I can save information. If I chose a, a, a bump, so I can save it. So all my data can be saved under my name. If I don't have this account, I can't go back to my information. So as I said, I can use all the potentials of the website without even creating account, but it's so beneficial to create an account so I can save my steps and preferences. I'm going to put my email, my password, As you can see, this is the website. It's, it's showing my name from here. I can have my country, and it can provide me with specified information regarding my region. As in Syria, it doesn't matter. Let's go to solutions, then products and services, and then I choose my phone from here. As we, you can see, this is the main menu here. I have size by to choose based on application or bump family. Grandfoss has lots of families, each family has its own specification. So if I had bomb family, it's going to look into bomb families or bomb design, which is the most frequently used based on the design. Then I have the bomb design. So I need to choose what kind of bomb I want, what design. So for example, I'm going to have submersible groundwater bomb. I'm going to provide an example on it, then I'm going to provide another example about infection, infection, closed couple, single stage, and you can try all these options based on your requirements. 
after choosing the design, it's going to ask me about the flow, flow value. So for the flow example, we were talking about it was 30 and the head, it was 116. I can put here the number. So far, the uh, website is facing some bugs as it has been upgraded recently. So maybe you can face some breakdowns or something. Let's go next. Click on the arrow. Then you can have this icon. You can go to the Grand Post Center, but it is the older version. So it is still available to work on the older version. It is much simpler, but we chose to work on the new features so you can have it for future. Then it's going to ask me how many bumps you want. It is a study, so it's one bump. What is the voltage preferences? Then we are going to choose it. Grand water supply, is it from a well or from a domestic water supply and rainwater? When I choose this, the other selections with the change. When I choose domestic, I can have those options regarding the shape of the tank. Is it from rain, from ground tank? While if I choose ground water supply, it will provide me with much more options regarding the targeted tank. Is it with... Uh, open tank, closed tank. I choose open tank, which is an ordinary one because it is a vertical one, open tank. So it is uh, the, um, it's, it's, it's applicable for uh, air pressure, normal air pressure. Then the software is going to choose available kind of versions of pumps and it's provided based on the best solutions going down. It starts with SP3016 and we have different uh, specifications for the engine. SP is the largest families regarding well and it is the most used bombs for wells ever, and it has lots of util utilization. As I go over this shape, it provides me with the curved shape and chart. We are going to talk about it in details later on. For example, let's choose the first one. As you can see, we have some parameters we can talk about later. The first one here, is the product name. Here you can see some options about the expenses. It is about how many years I am going to use my pump. It's going to, it's based on 10 years, uh, 10 hours per 10 years. And it can be changed and it is 0 0.15 kilowatt It is for euro, it is 0 0.15 euro per kilowatt. Let's go down there. Let's go to the next page. It provides me with, for this bump, we have the concise outlet. So the outlet here is RB3. The RB3 is three inches. So the flow rate is 31.41. We ask for 30, but it doesn't provide 30. And for the Q, it is 5%. While the head is 116, exactly as I have asked. So the difference here is zero. The efficiency rate here is 73.6. 
and the bomb and motor efficiency here is 61 together. Usually for the submerged bombs, the, it is between 80 and 85 efficiency. So it is here 61. I'm going to explain a little about the parameters here. We have three phase, phase phases. There, here is the energy cut on based on year per year, as I explained earlier. Different information. The motor version is there evolve or not? What's the diameter of the motor? The startup methodology, the shaft steel. We are going to move to the chosen bomb number one, and we are going to explain about how I can compare between the bombs. I'm going to choose number one now. Which he, which the system has put it on the top. If there is something unclear, please interrupt, raise your hand. As you can see, we have the chart for the curve. We are going to speak in details about what we have here. Before choosing, we need to choose the motor. So we go to variant to choose within the same bump. We have other different kinds of motors. Do we need it 220, 230, or is it 500, or is it 380, which is used in Syria? 380. Here we have the connection type for the cable to the engine. So I, it's very important to have the start methodology. So is it direct online or is it star delta? So as you can see here, the 380, we have direct online and the same of it, we have the star delta. So we need to choose. So if we have direct online, we have three cables only. And I can't start it on star delta. I can start it, start it on inverter or but i can't do it on the system of star delta while in the system of star delta i have six cables from the engine can make me give me the choice to connect on any system i want so let's choose better and we can choose star delta or direct online so i choose direct online which is 380, 400, 415. As you can see, we have the curves related to the bump. So I can cross check them with the system curve. So for me, here the choice is do not show duty points. I'm going to show it later. So in blue, it is the curve regarding the bomb. It is the performance curve. So any value of flow rate, it has a comparison or another value and the bomb wouldn't work outside of this curve. So if I have 30 flow rate, so the compressor or the head is 120. If I have a 25, so it is for sure the head is 140. So let's take the second choice, nominal duty point. So the perfect duty point, then I choose input. So I would put it in manually. For my case and on practical usage and experience, on that 
cube or flow rate of 30, the head would be 116. So the, the static head is very essential for the first, uh, for the start point of the curve. If I didn't put it, so the start point would be of the curve from zero. As you can see here, it is not okay. So the system curve here uh, drawn by the system is drawn automatically by the system from zero until the cross point. So we have the, the duty point we, we have. I put the static head, so the curve would be changed now. Let me put it as 100. Now, let's check. Now you can see it is changed, the system curve now. It is drawn based on specified algorithm that the less value for static head is 100 and it's increasing until uh, alongside the flow rate and it is a second uh, degree vari variable and it is drawing the curve, the system curve, as you can see. So it's based on the duty point and the static head. And it goes along until it's crossing or aligned with the system curve, or with the uh, pump curve. As you can see here, the pump, as I showed, the flow rate is 30 by 116. This is my duty point. But actually, the flow rate is 31.12, and the head static is 117.4. So the duty point I am after based on the actual experience and exercise is different. And this happens as I chose the bump far in range or I have the duty point chosen by mistake. Maybe I have uh, uh, lots of losses or the static loss. I, I thought it's 100, but it's 90. So I have 10 meters difference. So the curve would ha be uh, differently, totally different. As you can see here, the program has provided me with the flow rate of the bomb, which is the head static is 117.4. It's calculated already how much kilowatts I need per cubic meter. It is 0 0.5. I have preferred a simple example to explain that the, the cost of the kilowatt inside Syria is almost 0 0.16. So here the cubic meter uh, expense is around 10 cents. So if we have 120, 110 meters, so I have the cost of each cubic meter is 10 cents. While even if it is 300 in depth, it is 10 cents. So as I can have, I, I know that most of the attendees are working in the north of Syria. So if I'm working on this, so the maximum rate, even including uh, maintenance and uh, running cost, it won't reach 40 cents or 50 cents, while in water trucking, it is more. So the software have provided me with the duty point and the sufficiency, efficiency uh, for the bomb and for the whole system, bomb and engine and motor. So the first one is for the bomb, the other, the second one is for the bomb and motor.
So this is the efficiency of the pump is 73.8. Based on the efficiency of it, I can know how much losses I have, uh, how much, uh, how long my lifespan would be. And the total efficiency is pump and motor, which is 61.2. While for the kilowatt for the electrical motor, which is B1, it's 16.24 kilowatt. While P2 is for the mechanical on the for the mechanical value on the bump shaft, which is 13.46 kilowatts. While the NPSH, the water level above the bump, where the depth of the water at the where it is less than 3.9, I would have some problems and issues within the bump, which it should be done. It shouldn't be done. One question item. Uh, the water level below the pump should be 3.9 meter. But if yes. you are on a borehole, the water level is a dynamical, the dynamic water level, and it will vary. So this has to be considered as well. How do you do that? Can you, can you repeat again, please? This is a borehole pump, and we know we know that uh, when we start pumping, we have a high water level, and then the water level will go down, dynamic water level. So at the very beginning, we will have less than 3.9 meter. And maybe if we, after uh, 10 minutes no, or no, one no, hour, no, no. we have 3.9 meter. Come on. I'm going to speak. The main idea here, the main idea here, that when we install the bomb, we need to meet this condition. The water, the dynamic water level, not the static, above the bomb shouldn't be less than 10 meters. Okay, but this uh, this depends on the borehole, not on the pump. Sometimes you have a dyna dynamic water level more than 10 meter. Uh, if it is more than 10 meters, it is better. As much more, it is better, but no less than 10 meters. It is forbidden. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we have a friend to speak. The hydraulic rate, we have a test for the well before I buy the bomb for the well. So I know how much flow rate of the well and I have the hydraulic rate after 72 hours of uh, running the well, so I have this stability, and this is very well known. That's why I know how NBH is more than the hydraulic depth. So I don't have, and I don't make my bump facing electro electrical shock. That's why I, we do such tests. We do the, the uh, bumping test. It is within the conditions of installing any bomb within where. So, uh, so we do this bombing test and it is including the static and dynamic uh, 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 height of the well. So based on this height of dynamic rate, I lower the uh, bomb for less or more, 10 meters, 25 meters, based on the depth of the well, but no less than 10 meters. Is it clear? Yes. 
تمام هلا نحن مثل ما حكينا نحن بالنسبه so للواقع as we have said for the Syrian context we need to choose the voltage we have put here 400 you can choose 380 for the bump for the byte losses and here it's providing us with the options of the electrical motor we can see here the 83 and in addition to the rbm of the motor you can see the more flow rate the less rbm we have why because those uh, motors are sliding motors and it is go- sliding with the burden it you put on so it's about 3000 uh, rounds per meter per minute so the p1 is providing us with the sufficiency or of the efficiency of the bump based on the duty point which is 16.02 and the rbm is 2877 item there is on the chat a question from yazer asking what is the benefit from the motor efficiency Okay. The benefit of the motor efficiency that I compare between two Grandfoss bombs, or I can compare between Grandfoss and Benson bombs. For example, here the motor efficiency is 82 or 84, as we have to say. Here is 82.8. I can have another Grandfoss motor. Most Grandfoss has other motors can reach 90 efficiency. So we should take that into consideration. And I have have uh, have this uh, comparison as Mr. Yasser have uh, he's a program manager. He had two offers for both maybe Grandfoss or Bansan or even Grandfoss has provided two offers or Wello have provided her its quotation. So I need to grade those quotations. So I grade higher uh, against the efficiency. So the higher in efficiency, I have uh, more saving in power. So I have 17% losses within the motor. So if it is 100 kilowatts, so I have 16 uh, kilowatt losses as heat within the motor. Is it clear? Clear. I'm going to open the floor for questions. If you have any questions, I can answer before moving on. Do you have any question? Is it clear? Perfect. As we have talked earlier, those are the curves we have. As you can see here, we have combination of pages for our to choose. We have the variant for the shape, for the motor module, then the specification. In detail, we have uh, information about the bomb its name, the liquid, bump liquid, the degree of the liquid, then technical specification, RBM, the actual flow rate, the actual head of the bomb, stages, 16, Shaft, seal for motor, ceramic. Lots of specifications I can find here. Even the material, I can I can see it is a stainless steel bomb. The specifications of the steel itself, the impeller. It is a stainless steel. 
from other cho choosing, we can have different impeller, we can have foam, but for this, most of the bombs have, and the ground force has stainless steel. And here is the difference in price. So if we went to other companies and we said, give me a, a, an impeller of foam, the steel is foam, so then what I save money here, I can I would pay later for maintenance. And here the installation pump outlet, which is three inches, and the motor diameter is six inches, which is aligned with the well diameter. We have lots of choices here. Later on, in details, we are going to explain how we can have a report with all this information. Then these are the curves we have talked about. Then we have drawing. The first drawing is about the bomb itself with the motor. It shows me the dimension. The other one, the second one is the wiring diagram. It's providing me with the direct uh, con uh, connection and the star delta. And here the 3D for the bomb from all angles. It does, it's not that important. And here the documentation. There are lots of documentations I can download related to the bomb. We can download the full catalog of the family of the bomb. And here it is the same. It is for 60 hertz, here for 50 hertz. Here we can see the data booklet. Here is the accessories that we can attach, we can work on. Here is the safety instructions, uh, maintenance. Lots of files provided by the factory for our cho choice. We can download current version. I can click on it. It is downloaded automatically. Lots of collection of uh, documents related to our uh, bomb. And the last one is the spare part. So it's providing me with a list of spare parts, and it is a lot, and you can choose what part you are after, you are looking for and it is providing you with lots of choice, choices for a spare parts for the first year, second year, fifth year. And now we move to something else, which is printing the report. I want to print the report of the bomb. I click on it. So I have these preferences, what content I am after. So initially, I don't want some information. I am after some information. I need the data sheet, the curves, the drawing. I activate those. The motor curve, dimensional drawing. I want it. the wiring diagram I want. So I choose what I want to see in the printing. For spare parts, I have Options for spare parts, I choose them all. And for the motor, I can choose. Then even the font size, I can change. I can put heading, I can add heading. Then I ask it to generate the PDF. As you can see, it's provided, it is generated, 17 pages report. I would like to share with other entities or departments. It has lots of details. We are not going to discuss in details, and I am not aware of all those details. It's providing all details related or the 
factory has about this model. The, the most important one uh, is the curve, the duty point, the parameters we need from the motor RBM, the product number, the price is not available, the rate, the flow rate, everything, as we have mentioned earlier. What is the connection type? What is the outlet? The wiring module? The performance curve of the electrical motor? The drawings in details of the bomb? Even it's providing us with the size of the shipment. Sorry, I there, there, is a, there is a question from Hamed. Maybe Hamed, you can speak. Good afternoon. I wanted to comment on a point about the Delta. In case currently oh, most of the pumps we are having, the outlet is about three phases. I don't have six phases, six phases, six cables. Uh, it's about star delta tem template. So we have three phases as the first, we have it as star, then it goes to delta. So. It is within the motherboard, not related to the motor. No, it is within the motor. It is a specification within the motor. If the motor doesn't have six wires, so you cannot do star delta out uh, con wiring. As for the motors have three uh, wires only, you cannot do star delta ever. Only motors with six wires, you can put on conjunction of star delta. Thanks for you, but through the installations we have made for projects in uh, organization, we didn't see those six wires. It's only three wires, and we go back to the motherboard and we put conductors like star conductor uh, uh, triangle conductor and then we do the jump start and then within the motherboard through a relay and electronic wire we do star delta this is what we are implementing practically you can check your information and come back to me for any motor for three phases i want to do star delta there should be six wires if those are three wires i can wire it connect it as inverter dual star but star delta it should be six wires for sure with no six wires you can do it star delta we can communicate bilaterally later on. Thank you. Mr. Ahmed Shahade is my colleague since uh, university and he has a vast experience. He's a very close friend. Any other questions? Let's go. There is a question in the chat in Arabic. Maybe ask them. You can read it. I cannot do that. Someone wants to comment. He's on. Sir Muhammad. Sir Muhammad Salim, I will say that it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. المايك مفتوح للكل يمكن ما ما في مشكلة بس يفتح المايك من عنده ويحكي بس يفتح المايك من عنده ويحكي بده يفتح المايك زمان 
اه تمام تمام اذا بيحب يكتب لنا كتابه ما في مشكله هي هي كانت سبيك از جوينج تو رايت ليتر اون اوكي يلا مثل ما حكينا هذا التقرير يعني as we said already this report is in detail and it's providing us with the parts of the motor in detail with numbers it is very professional uh, company Grand Post to provide you with all details information uh, easy to access uh, user friendly and all the documents are available and it is one of the oldest companies it's over 100 years old now the company so let's go back to the website as i told you here let's go up here we talked about the printing the report the other section here we click on it it is add add to compare if you need to compare between two modules of more or more you do add to compare so i will add this pump and to compare with other and here is download so it's downloading excel files and others the fourth choice is providing me with many choices that one of them is add to project if i want to save so i want to add to new project i would like to call it ariha project where is the location position it is ariha what is my position title maybe more than one are using the same account and I do add. When I do add, it is within my library now. So if I go there, my project, I can see we have the projects I have. So here, there is more than one project. So I can open my project and I can find the same information I saved. As we said, we add to compare anything we add to compare, I can see here. We can see 15 and 16. We entered. Earlier, I have entered number 30, 15. Let me check the time frame. Let's do the version I have saved already. Product Compare Center. I can see here the two pumps I have saved already, which is 30, 15, and 30, 15, and the differences between them. So here, if I want to do the comparison, the comparison is going to be between the bump SB30, 15, and SP30, 16. I'm going to repeat this step so you can be aware of it in detail let's hope that it won't be disconnected let's choose from the same Category, we have SB3015, SB3017. We can add three even bumps to the comparison. I'm going to add this bump to compare. 
I add, have added the, the pump. And I'm going to choose variant to choose the motor type. I have chosen this. Then we go back to the duty point we chose. And the head is 160 in the same parameters I have put there. And the head static is 100. It have drawn the curves for me for 3015, which is another bump than the first bump we started with. Then I ask it to add to compare. I ask here in product compare variants, I have one. I do add to compare. Then I can see here it should be two. So I have two bumps to compare. I can add third, fourth, fifth to compare among. If we went to efficiency, we, maybe it is more efficient. Let's go to choose here, comparison. And it is to show me how it's comparing between the, between the variables here. So here I can see the two bombs I would like to compare between. As you can see, for the 15, the bump 15, the flow is 49.5, 49.5, while the bump 16 is 30.38, and those are the curves, the charts of them. Let's go down to see all the parameters. Can you see the flow rate here? 29.5, here is 30.8, the head 115.4, here 117.1. The efficiency for the first one, the total 61.6, why the other one is 61.2. Even for the life cycle cost for 15 years, as I said, there are specified parameters I change, and then I have technical differences I click on. I can see some specifications. Here are 15 stages, here are 15, and we have more head and more flow rate. Go down, number of parameters, we have valve, here what Yasser have asked about the motor version, maybe I can choose two different motors and compare among them, the materials, what materials of the pump, the impeller, the motor, we go down. Installation. Sorry, like, um, there is a, a question or a note in the chat in Arabic. Maybe. No, no, there is no question. Someone is leaving. Okay, so sorry. I'm... Sorry for this. Tama. Yes, yes. Uh, for uh, for the uh, Arabic, into it or the topic. We close the idea to Andrea. Of course, after the water, what 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 the maximum, the normal is 20. The electrical data, the motor type, the rate, power, the current. This comparison is a new tool, very useful, and you can compare between more than one, between more than two bumps. Maybe we have done this for the same um, module, ground pot. Maybe we have different kind of bombs and trademark. We are done with the submersive uh, bombs now. Let's talk about the horizontal uh, bombs. 
we are going to do this uh, rapidly now. If you have any questions, please come forward. If you have any questions. Yes, just no one question. Short, short, short question. I see that uh, the prizes are not available, but if I want to make a project proposal and ID, I need an estimation of the price, how can I get the price? Especially when we do the comparison. Uh, mm. Uh, Grand Foss has a price list, a huge one. We, there are two files, huge files. Each one of them is 700 pages with prices, with 2020 prices. They are providing these prices and putting them on the website without any deduction. So you can put that price in your proposal. So you can see this pump is for five or six thousand dollars. You can depend on that price, which is the price book for Grand Force. I can share that with you later on through a link with, within the email. It is providing me the price with 80% accuracy of the price of the pump or even for the accessory. Thank you very much. Uh, item and uh, the price includes the installation done by Grandfoss or the installation has to be done by the uh, NGO. Uh, this price is only for the pump, only. Okay, and Grand without installation. And Grandfoss provide the installation due to the warranty or not in Syria. As for Syria, they are not installing. Thank you. But through some companies in Turkey, working inside Syria, they can install. And just last question. If the NGO make the installation, does have the pump, the warranty or not? For sure, the warranty is available, but whenever the, the bomb is going into Syria, the return of it is not available. So the Turkey com Turkish company is providing you with a warranty, but for the any, any kind of bomb, whenever it is going inside Syria, you cannot take it out of Syria for maintenance or any other reason. This is the problem. Thank you, Aita. So you need to have this into consideration. So the Turkish uh, company would provide you with su such possibilities, and uh, you can uh, they can provide you with this availability of adding ex providing accessories, maintenance fees inside Syria, and they can add it to the price. Clear? Thank you. Clear. As for the horizontal bumps, the Grundfos website has it in very details, and it is uh, it is a little bit difficult because it has lots of details, not like the submersive one. So let's choose here. Let's have the inspection lung coupled single stage. or in section closed couple single stage. So it is one stage. Here are multi stages. So let's, for example, take in section closed couple single stage. If you can go through the past sessions, you can see the difference between the names. Let's choose single stage closed couple infection. Then the flow rate, which is 30 cubic meters. Let's choose 20. Based on the range we are working on, and the head is 30. 
as for the one stage head, the head shouldn't be over 40, 50 as maximum. But it is preferable if we are going to increase the stages, you can reach even 200. But for single stage, it is preferable not to go over 50. Then here we have a collection of bombs can meet those criteria. Let's choose the first one. This website is very huge. And if we need to go through details, it's going to consume lots of time. And I don't have the whole details of it. And it needs lots of research. Each one is looking for some specifications needed information. Lots of international companies have uh, similar tools. A Bansan is not providing such availability, unfortunately. Let's go to the variant to choose the motor type. We can he have three uh, uh, three types motor, and we can change to see our fit. To let's choose the first one initially. Maybe within this type, we don't find what we want, so we go back to the outer uh, type and we change the bump itself until we find our what suits us. We can change our inputs to have different outputs. So it's the Q, the Q is 20, the head is, the total is 30, the static is 25. Can you see when we put 30 for the flow rate, it is not applicable because this uh, curve is not applicable for 30. And this is what we are talking about all the time. We need to choose accurately based on the flow rate because if we put a, a value for the head, which is not accurate uh, within the implementation, it doesn't work properly. So the performance would be really bad and the losses are a lot. So we can see the variance here. It is 20.81 for flow. The head is 30.38. The N is uh, 2,918. And those are the specifications. For it, can you see here, it is between 20 and 20.1 20 for the variance. For the duty point, as you can see, the efficiency of the motor, how much is going up alongside the flow rate. And we are, let's go again and talk about the uh, performance curve for the bump and the performance curve the total performance curve, which is for the bump and the motor. Here, the best value for performance, which is 60%. For the horizontal bump, in general, the efficiency of it is low. So the highest efficiency is at most 66 the more stages we have, the more efficiency we have. But for the one stage horizontal bumps, we can't have more than 50, 65 or 66 efficiency for bumps. We have finished almost all the points we are after and the schedule. If you have any questions, any comments, anything not clear, Please raise your hand.
and very young. Andre? Yeah, uh, yes, item. Thank you, thank you very much. I think it was very, very useful. Thank you, Asem, for translation. And uh, it it is the last of the workshop that you are holding. It might we might have more in the future. But thank you very much for your time, item again. And uh, we can close now this session if there are no more questions. As usually. This is going to be recorded Arabic and English. And uh, additionally, you will have the link of this uh, prize uh, list that uh, Haitam is going to send me. Just for information, next week on Tuesday, we will have a discussion about site planning in urban area and uh, urban infill hybrid. So welcome for next week. You will get all the information timely. It's not just for wash people, but more for site planning. So if there is no question, I will close now the session. Thank you very much.